All right, I think it's fair to say that we got pretty spoiled with this weekend. It wasn't too bad yesterday. Today it was sunny, a little windy, but I mean, okay. now we're talking rains in the forecast. Yeah, it just slowly gets worse <laughs> for the weekend. Yeah. It got colder, but at least we got some sunshine. Now tomorrow we're not getting sunshine. It's still cold. And then we get the addition of rain. So not the best weekend, but it is looking like a favorable weekend for Super Bowl Sunday. That is, if you're staying indoors and maybe going to some Super Bowl parties. For tonight, if you're prepping, there's a few things you need to know. It is going to be cooler throughout the evening hours, especially compared to yesterday. We started off the day in a deficit compared to 24 hours ago, and we've continued the trend. We are winding down for the evening. We don't have a whole lot of sunshine left. Uh, actually, it's all disappeared, and it doesn't look like we're going to get much more for the weekend. We're already slipping into the 30s, looking like 39 for Frederick, 40 in Bel Air, Westminster at 31, which is actually one of our coolest spots. A little further to the south, Rock Hall at 43, as well as in Annapolis and uh, Baltimore at 43, the district at 45. For the rest of the evening, we're going to continue to gradually slip, but we will have some cloud coverage in play. Lifting from the south, it's been at bay all day, and so it's starting to seep in to our skies and actually we want this because it's going to help us maintain a little bit of warmth throughout the rest of the evening. We're not going to slip into the 20s for the majority of the state. We're actually expecting the lower 30s and able to maintain that throughout portions of the state. The southern tier of the state going to see some of this cloud coverage a little bit earlier on, but eventually this will become more widespread as we go into your Sunday. And your Sunday looking like afternoon showers becoming more eventful going towards the evening hours and more widespread at this point. And temperatures struggling due to this. A little bit windy throughout the day and definitely in need of that umbrella. If you do plan on being out and about, patience, especially if you're traveling for the Super Bowl, make sure to pack that because traction may be lost, visibility may be impacted, and there may be a lot of people on the roadways. So let's break this down. Over the next several hours, we're going to see this high pressure move offshore. What that means for us is this cloud coverage is going to be allowed to move in. And eventually, as we go into your Sunday, around the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to get some light isolated showers. But it's going to build throughout the next several hours. And even off to our west and northwest, they could see a slight changeover. Our higher elevations could see a little bit of a mixture between rain and snow. For the majority of the state, though, we're just dealing with some heavy batches of rain at times. So once again, pack the patience and pack the umbrella. By Monday, this moves on out, and we are left with some clearing skies and some temperatures on the rebound. Eventually, Monday, we're into the 50s for those daytime highs. We'll see the 60s move back into our forecast with isolated shower chances for your Wednesday and your Thursday. Kelsey.